Hello everybody, welcome back to the training in Automoticon M221. In this video I'm going to show you how you can change the firmware of the PLC M221 using a SD card. So let's go to the presentation. So basically you will need to find some files, okay, you need to put some files into the SD in order to change the firmware. So we have two ways. We can use the software Ecostructure Machine Expert Basic or we can go directly to a specific uh, path in our laptop where the software is installed in order to copy those files into the SD card. So the second way is to using this this path over here. Okay, then I'm going to show you over here. So once you go into where the machine expert is installed, program file Schneider Electric, Ecostructure Machine Expert Basic. Here you can find some additional files, but the most important for us is this one, firmware and post configuration. Here you can find the M221. Okay, then the version of the of the PLC that you have. This one is the latest one. Here you can find the firmware that this one is the one that the software you use when you use the controller assistant, the, the controller update. But in our case, we just need to copy the content inside over here into our SD card in order to make it work. And if you can see over here, if you open this command, it download the operator system, the firmware of the controller. Okay, this is one way to do it. These are the files in order to put in the SD card, but we're going to show you a different way. So if we open the commissioning tab into the software, okay, then we just need to go to memory management and select create a new controller image. Select the specific folder and then include only the firmware. Let's do that. So if we go here into this program, memory management, create, Controller image, PC. I'm going to select the SD card over here. Let's first let me just go back here. I'm going to format the SD card. Format 32. Now, what we're going to do is to download the application. Okay, into the SD card. Okay. But it's important to select only the firmware. Okay. We want to cover this later. Now, in order to generate the files, what we need to do is to create the contour image. Okay, adding firmware success. So now we need to open the SD card over here and you can find here all the files that have been created. So if we go here and open this, you can see that it's the same script, okay, as we saw in the past. And if we go here, sys, operating system, this is the firmware that we need to download. Okay, so let's go back to the presentation. So far we have defined the files that we want to download in the controller, which is basically the firmware. We have prepared the SD card. So now we need to follow some steps on the PLC in order to make it work. And these are the steps that we need to follow. So basically we have already created this part, the format and create the image. So now we need to, let's just change the view of this. So going to remove the SD card from my laptop. What we're going to do now is to remove the power supply of the controller. As you can see in there, power off. Let's insert the SD card in the controller. Insert the SD card. Now we need to power up again. The CPU 
you can see that there is some energized LEDs. We need to check now the SD LEDs. You can see in there, I don't know if you can see it, but the SD that is next to the red one that now is off, okay, was the SD. So we should be able to remove the SD card and see the message. So I'm going to remove the SD card and see what is the message. So I'm going to insert the SD card over here in my laptop. I'm going to check what is inside. So this is the file that we need to see. Okay, the script log. I'm going to open and here we find that it have start the script, the script this one. You have download the firmware to the controller. And it's good, return OK, and it has finished the script. Okay, so basically that is the process in order to make it work. It's very simple. Now is your time to do it. Okay, so in order then for you to test it, just grab the SDK, the SD card, format it. You can use the folder of the of where the firmware is stored in your laptop if you have installed the software, the eConstruction Machine Expert Basic, or you can use the eConstruction Machine Expert to generate the files directly into the SD card, and then put the SD card when the power of the controller is removed. And then after the process, you can validate if the firmware has been changed or not on the controller. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.